here with the NBA legend Steven Jackson. Stack, um, curious, man, what brings you out uh, to the fight, Errol Spence or Dennis Ugas? I'm from night? Texas. Um, Errol Spence is a good friend of mine, so I'm here to support him. Obviously, anything going on in the Cowboy Stadium, me being a Cowboy fan, I got to be here. But this trainer, that's my guy. As, 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 as you see, this is my guys. This is my guy, so I have to be here to support them. You dig? Along with Showtime Box, shout out to the boss, Espinosa. All the smoke. You know, we here Showtime family, but we here to support the team. You know that. Now, great podcast you got going. Obviously, a lot of great fights coming up. What are you most excited uh, for besides tomorrow night? Well, I'm, I'm just yeah. about, excited about us seeing the fights. All right, seeing the fights that we want to see. Obviously, you know, Ugas took a, 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 a two-week fight and beat Pacquiao, which is tremendous. And uh, he and he's beaten six out of the last eight left-handers he fought. So it's going to be a great fight. Ugas deserves this fight, but. We all know Earl is looking forward to Terrence Crawford, but he has to take business tonight. So we starting to see the fights that all the fans want to see, and I'm a big time boxing fan because of that. Uh, I don't have a favorite fighter. Um, I, just, I like the boxing. I like the game of boxing, and I just like watching the best fight the best. The best that don't fight the best. I'm not a fan of those guys, and y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say no name, but. When the best fight the best, that's the fighters I am. I don't know who you're talking about. You, you got to know. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say no names, but everybody know who is dodging, you know, the the Charlos, the the the, the, uh, the uh, Earl Spences and the, and, and, and the uh, Bud Croppers. We know who's dodging those type of guys, right? So we're not going to say nothing about that. But at the same time, I'm a boxing fan. I'm going to forever watch boxing. I like everybody. Stacks, you got some hands yourself. We see you in your NBA career. Not, not boxing hands, though. That's totally different. That's totally different. He said, no, sir. No, no boxing hands. I, I got I got street hands. Yeah. The right hand looks great to me. Yeah, I, I got street hands, but I I don't want to be fighting nobody for the rest of my life. Life is great, right? I want to sit here and watch these boxes and let the professionals do it, right? Because that's what we want to see. Now, obviously, we're here for the big fight, but mm -hmm. playoffs got started. I'm just yes. curious. Who stands out to you, and uh, what do you expect in these playoffs? Well, um, of course, Phoenix looks good in the West. They look like the team that's going to come out. I think Memphis is going to shock some people. Memphis is going to let somebody down. We get to see Golden State back together as a full team. That's one thing we like to see, but I'm still going with Brooklyn. I don't see nobody beating Brooklyn. A healthy team. If they're coached right and Kyrie and Katie's there, I see them winning. I got to ask, uh, I'm from Chicago, man. We getting past Milwaukee first round, uh, uh, no chance. I can't say no because Milwaukee is the better team, but they still have to go out there and get the job done. Chicago's a better team than they've been in a long time. And you have guys that can really take over games with Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. So I'm going to give them a shot, but they're going to have to play their best ball to beat Milwaukee. Yes, too, the fight people want to see if Spence, big if, could get by Ugas is obviously Buzz Crawford. That's what he said. Is how, you know, because we're in the bubble, like we're in the boxing bubble, so we don't know. How, how big is that fight with the mainstream public? And is that, is that, yeah. It's huge. It's huge. Everybody, because I'm just as much as I'm a fan of Earl, I'm the same as uh, with, uh, with uh, Bud Crawford. You know, I talk to both of these guys, and both of these guys are the best. So we want to see the, the best fight the best. And um, like I said, we want to see Earl fight uh, Bud, but he got to take it a bit of tomorrow, which he will do. Stack, I got, got to ask Derek James. Yeah, I didn't know that. Think about this. Four or five years ago, he said, I'm going to clear up everything on my side of the street. You say that, and then we're going to fight too. So he is not done. He had lied about what he said he was going to do. Mm -hmm. and just because it doesn't happen in the time that everybody wants it, right. everybody's complaining about it. Right. He never said he wasn't going to do it. He said, he always said he wanted to be the undisputed champ, right? That's, that's he always said that. So, right. so that means if, if, if he's the champ, that's who I want to fight. He never said, no, I don't want to fight it. Mm -hmm. Never. So all these other people talking crazy and these dumbass conversations they having with each other. Yep. He's always said, I want to be undisputed. And I'm going to clean up everything on his side. Think about this. Say they would have fought two years ago. And then it's okay, well, it's, it's for a unified title, but that's it. No undisputed. No undisputed. So, so you have to go, okay, beat this guy, then go fight somebody else. How stupid does that sound? Right. Hey, no, I mean, obviously you want to make it as big as possible. Uh, Steven, obviously Derek James that's here, right. you, sp you spoke highly on him. Why do you think he doesn't give, well, I feel like he doesn't give the credit. He is old, you know, uh, the success he's had with Earl Spence. Yeah. 
you know, Jamel Charlo going into an undisputed fight next month. Um, you know, talk about Derek James and just the success well, he's had with his fighters. Well, for me, and, and, and it's my guy, but one thing about it, you got guys that's in this sport for the love and really want to see the best for their players, and you got guys that's doing it for awards. The awards will come, but when you're doing it for the right reasons, I think people respect that more, and that's what he's doing. You know, it's not just he's training guys to get out and get something out of the guys. There's like a family with the Charlos. It's just his family. So, so what he's doing and what I see from the outside it's not about awards, which is that we always love to get applauded for what we do, but it's more about the family and, and, and the family winning more than outside the family. They said some people are saying Spence is like Tim Duncan. He's the big fundamental. I don't know him as well. I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say uh, he's more like Tim Duncan. I would say he's his own person. Or, or else he's his own person. And 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 when you have the things that he, I can't say he's similar with Tim as far as being a professional preparation, right? You can look at him. If a lot of guys that's been through what Earl been through, they won't show up today and look like he's been through nothing. He ready to roll. And you know what I'm saying? And me personally, I don't like people who ain't been through nothing. I have nothing in common with people that that haven't been through no ups and downs. So that's why. I love her. Hey, they just pulled my car. Hey, he was underselling his right hand a little bit, man. <laughs> <laughs> He was trying to get me in there. He was trying to get me to do some celebrity boxing. He was trying to get me to do some celebrity boxing. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I wouldn't do it. You can take Lamar. You can take Lamar. All the work has been done up to this point, obviously. Because it can go either way. The recovery of the surgery, the training and everything, the weight has been made. He came in three, quarter pounds under. Just talk about that fight and for tomorrow night as as the man in his corner. It's gonna be a great fight, man. I think the Ugas is gonna come. He's a phenomenal fighter. It's just about figuring it out and making it work, making everything fit and work them. Was the nutritionist, right? Uh, the nutritionist being added early. like subscribe and share as always if you want to support us to the next level head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace